set here, 75 pounders, 13 and 14 year old division. Johnny Cordova in the white uniform representing North Northside Boxing out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. His opponent is Isaiah Ayala from Twin City Tigers Boxing Club out of Odessa, Texas as Ayala kind of stumbles and he gets caught with a left hand, a sharp left hand. But you can see Ayala come right back at Cordova, both guys are throwing some nice shots here. And Cordova lands with a good right hand. It's Ayala moving forward, but Cordova doing some nice work. When he was back in the corner, now he steps out. Comes right at Isaiah Ayala in the yellow shirt. Fighting for the Twin City Tigers Boxing Club. Out of Odessa, Texas, there again is Cordova landing some good shots. Both guys look like good little boxers here. They're throwing some nice hard shots. Looks like uh, Cordova might be a little bit stronger though as he kind of is able to impose himself moving forward and making Ayala back away. But Ayala, not short of heart, is certainly throwing some, some good shots. Amateur boxing coming to you from the Jack Candelaria Community Center here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Dan Cisneros at ringside. So glad you could join us. There's a good little right hand that lands by Ayala. And now Isaiah Ayala starting to move in with some good straight shots. And that ends round one. So good action in that opening round. You see, you're looking at Isaiah Ayala from Odessa, Texas. Did some nice work there, but I think it was John Cordova, though, who was really scoring the, the heavier shots for sure. And I would probably give him that round. He seemed to be a little more in control of that round. Fighting for Northside Boxing. You see his trainer there, Sammy Kidd. Got to be pleased with what he saw. I'm sure he was a little bit. So round two is underway. You're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Thanks for joining us. Got a good one going here. The kid from Odessa, Texas in the yellow shirt, Isaiah Ayala. Oh, and he gets caught with a left hand that really rocked him. But look at him answer back. Kid has heart, but Johnny Cordova a little, little bit too strong for him, I think. Let's see here, we're gonna have a standing eight count against Ayala. He took a shot and he comes firing, roaring back. Two good looking little boxers here. And now Johnny Cordova would like to get in there and, and do it again. He can get a couple more eight counts. He could stop his opponent here. Oh, and there's a left hand that snaps the head back. And another, and another, now a right hand. And Johnny Cordova now in that seek and destroy mode <laughs> coming forward, looking strong. But Isaiah Ayala stands his ground and fires back. He's not running, he's not going anywhere. There's a right hand from Ayala, but Cordova makes him pay with a good combination. There's a right hand from Cordova. Johnny Cordova really imposing himself on Ayala here, but give Ayala credit. This little guy is really fighting back. Throwing some good straight shots. He just doesn't seem to have the firepower to keep Cordova off of him. And again, Johnny Cordova in the white uniform representing the Northside Boxing Club of Albuquerque, really looking strong here. You can see him again coming in with both hands. And look at Ayala throw those good straight shots. Against anyone else, Ayala would be doing good, but Johnny Cordova just a little too strong for him here. Cordova with some nice boxing. There's a good body shot to end the second round. As we look into the corner of Isaiah Ayala, I believe his corner has called it. And uh, they've had enough. He gave it his best shot and he did some nice work. But Johnny Cordova just too strong for this young man from Odessa, Texas. And I think his coach could see it. And just, you know, didn't want him to go out there and take any more punishment from a very strong and effective Johnny Cordova. And now let's go up to the ring announcer and make it official.